Hi there grade 11s and welcome to today's video where we are going to be looking at how to use wildcards in a database, uh, specifically within a query. So here I have a database, I have a query, and then I can go into my design view, and I can go into my normal view over there. And um, now when I go into my design view, I have my criteria and this is where I'm going to be busy in this video. So in my criteria, I can go and search for certain things. So let's say, for example, um, I've got the suburbs here and I've got Newlands, Pinelands, Thornton, Rondebosch, etc. But let's say, for example, I needed to find a particular, let me just move over, a particular suburb, but I, I know what it starts with. Like, I know it's T-H-O-R, I'm not sure what the rest is. And if I put a star in there, what that means is that I'm looking for a suburb that starts with T-H-O-R, but I'm not sure of the rest, right? So it's going to pick up all the suburbs that start with T-H-O-R or Thor. And when I go run, you can see there, it's only picking up those suburbs. Now, what if I do it the other way? What if I go and I say, okay, um, let's go star um, O-N. Let's see, in other words, what ends, what you know, which suburbs we find that end with O-N. Run it, and there you can see Thornton. Now, just to show you, I'm going to take all of this out, run it again, and you can see there, it's only Thornton. So let's, let's use another one so you can see. And I hope you're seeing what's happening, because the way you're supposed to type it is actually by using like. So we're saying, I'm looking for a suburb, not sure of the name, but it's like, and then we say, well, I don't know what it starts with. And that's why I put in the star and I'm going to go A-N-D-S. I know it ends with A-N-D-S, but I don't know what it starts with. Run and then look there, Newlands, Pinelands. I'm going to go back. And this time I'm going to say like, and I'm going to go just in E and I'm going to go star. In other words, I know it starts with NE, but I don't know the rest. That's why I've got that wild star character there. Click run, and there you can see it brings up all of those. All right. So, folks, this is how we use wildcards in our queries in Access.